What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival 2024. This is episode number 11 and last episode we built this. We built the nice little med bay area which I gave a nice uh, kind of rose tinge light because it's like a healing area. It's nice and nice and rosy. Uh, and then over here we built up the, let me get in here, uh, those solar panels over there. We got another solar panel tower built up and it's looking very nice over there. And we built this gigantic hangar. This episode is going to be the episode of Outposts. We're going to do a lot of work on the Pam Outpost and the Kalfini Outpost as well. Uh, but before we do any of that, there are a couple of ship upgrades that I want to make. Mainly a couple of recolors for both ships, as well as event controllers to control uh, what happens when we connect this so that we don't have to manually control it every time. A couple of hydrogen improvements and also a couple of uh, timing improvements. I'm going to do that real quick and I'm going to come back to you guys in three, two, one, pop. All right, there are the changes for the barista welder. Let me show you what we did. So first of all, we made a slight change to the back right here where we added an event controller right there, as well as a couple of timers down here. So one timer for connecting and one for disconnecting. So now whenever we disconnect or connect this thing, uh, you'll see here, I just press number eight only, and you'll see all of our thrusters are going to, oops, did I press the wrong one? I think I pressed, oh, okay, it just lagged for a second because uh, we have a parallax ward of Lothian spawning. Uh, but yeah, you'll see it turned all the thrusters on by itself. And if I go ahead and disconnect just by pressing the number eight right here, you'll see it's turned everything off by itself. That was a good suggestion in the comments that uh, all we really need is an event controller. And I think I've been getting that suggestion for the last couple of episodes, but I haven't done it yet. And now we've finally done it. And I think I like it. Uh, the other timers are for stages. This is another suggestion in the comments that we should have different um, kind of different gears. Like if you think of a gear for a car, you don't start off in fifth gear, right? You start off in first gear, second gear, third gear. Well, a car might be a little bit more complicated, but it's, it's kind of the same thing where the first gear that we're going to have is going to have only a couple of these thrusters active the second gear is going to have more thrusters and the third gear is going to have all of the thrusters active so if i step into here you'll see uh let's pop off by pressing number eight that's going to turn on everything but then if i press number three here that's going to go into first our first stage which only has a couple of these thrusters active you can see a lot of them are inactive even on the bottom we have a lot of inactive thrusters back there uh so we're using a lot less hydrogen to drive around um but then if i press number four a couple more thrusters are going to become active You'll see we have both the top thrusters there. Uh, we have two of the side thrusters. And then if I press number five, which is our final stage, we have all of the, thr the thrusters active. So depending on the weight that we have, that we have to haul, we can actually change these so that we can always account for the, uh, the right amount of thrust that we need. So let's press number eight, lock that in. And those are all the changes that we're gonna make to the barista welder for now. I wanna make a couple changes to the, uh, this mining, or this, uh, the, the, the decaffeinator here. So let's get into it and make a couple of decaffeinator changes. Okay, there we go. Lots of changes were made to the decaffeinator here. I added a couple of uh, a couple of these windows on the front of the camera so it can't be easily shot out because that'd be really bad if we lose sight for that. I did a little bit of a recolor for some of this. Uh, I also changed completely how the, uh, the decoys are set up. They used to be kind of like loops. Now it's kind of just like arms that stick out. I added a couple heavy armor panels in front of where the decoys go and behind them just in case something tries to shoot at them. I added, I haven't put this back on yet, but I added a, uh, a couple more hydrogen tanks down here and I added added the same timers that I did for this one. And this one, instead of having uh, gear one, two, and three, has a combat and a cruise mode. So this has like almost no hydrogen left because we're, we're out of hydrogen on the base. But uh, if I take this forward, so it's got the same thing where if I disconnect, it turns all this stuff on automatically. And now if I go into cruise mode, which is number three, a bunch of the thrusters turn off. So you'll see it's only got one thruster on the sides. It's got two thrusters pointing uh, forward and two thrusters pointing backward and then only four thrusters pointing down. So that's the cruise mode so that we don't run out of our power. Uh, and it's also got only one gyro when it's in cruise mode as well. So uh, yeah, same changes made to this one. I think that's going to help out quite a bit when we have to do some combat. I need to get some ice on the base. By the way, a lot of you guys were uh, were were um, telling me that I could very easily solve the power problem last episode by just using our little our little hydrogen things we have in here. Look at this. We've got one, two, and then we don't have these ones set up yet, but we have at least two hydrogen tanks. I could have just very easily gone here, press the button, boom, they're on. I guess the power might have been off, so I'd have to go into them and turn them on individually. But point is, we had all this stuff to easily solve our power problems, and we didn't use it because I totally forgot this room existed. In the future, we're going to use this a little bit more. Uh, actually, it'd be really cool if we could set up some sort of ice mine. I don't think I want to do that in this episode because I have a lot that I want to do with the Pam base and the Coffini base, but getting some sort of mining operation set up that automatically gets us ice and allows us to power our base would be really cool. Um, the one thing I want to do in this episode that involves power though is I want to go down here let me um let me close this and then let me uh 
I don't think I have an easy way to depressurize this room. So maybe I'll just remove all the all the air. I don't, it doesn't really matter that much. But what I want to do basically as I remove all the air here is I want to turn this into a room going out to about, uh, I don't know where, maybe here? Let's say there. So all the way up to this interior wall right here, I'm going to take a door and I'm going to stick it right there. So let me, oh, actually, I think I have doors on the hop bar. Yep, perfect. Let's grab a door. Let's stick it right here. And maybe I'll mirror what I have there. So which, which way does you go? You go that way, okay. So door right there. Let's get that built up. And this is gonna be a little pressurized section. So I had said that I wanna have a room just under the base right here uh, that's a little bit pressurized before we get into the tunnel. So this is where that's gonna be. We'll get all the blocks for this and uh, and we'll get this room built up. And this is where I'm gonna store a bunch of um, a bunch of batteries because I wanna have some, some more batteries than we have on the base. We only currently have, I believe, one uh, and we need more. So we're gonna go ahead and say not so fast on these blocks here. We're gonna remove a lot of these right here because this is going to extend a little bit farther and I guess maybe I'll keep one side and then just build in the other side for now. Now this is a slight bit of a mining job so might as well go and grab the little mining ship that we have uh, up here, the the macchiato <laughs> that we have chilling here. Of course I'm going to have to remove all the air from the base again but it is what it is. Let's hop in here. Let's go ahead. I didn't do any of these changes to the macchiato but I don't think it needs them really. It's kind of a very simple mining ship so uh, we don't necessarily need to do any crazy um, event stuff with it. All right, Macchiato, you've done this before. We're heading all the way down. Oh, okay, we're going a little fast. I, I got used to all the hydrogen thrust of the other ships and I was just gunning it. But here, let's go inside here and let's get started on our little drilling operation. So we're just gonna drill out a little room over here that we can use for our batteries. Start with our right click drilling here. And I guess while I'm here with this little drill, I might as well also do a little bit of left click drilling once I drill out the room that I want to drill out. There we go. I don't know how far I really want to, want this to go, but I'll give ourselves some adequate amount of room. All right, I think this should be good. We're not going to make the room nearly this big, but <laughs> it's at least space. So I'm going to do some left-click drilling as well. Uh, I don't know how much this thing can carry, but it's going to be a little easier to left-click drill than it will be to, uh, to, to left-click mine with our hand drill. All right, and that is... We're almost there. We have quite a bit of ice from that. Let's check again. We should be pretty much there. Yes. Okay. So we're out there with 27,000 ice, which is, I don't know how many trips that would take me by hand, but it would be a lot of trips. But anyway, way back when we connected this for the first time and it went crazy, a lot of people were saying that the reason it went crazy was because the thrusters were on. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, maybe we need like a thruster shut off button. There we go. Now we can shut off our thruster. So let's press P and then press eight immediately. Yep. Okay. That worked. Awesome. Okay. So now, yeah, like I said, we can't actually uh, automatically grab this stuff and put it in there. So we're gonna have to do it manually, which is fine. It's just gonna take a couple trips. This is gonna, of course, be useful because both our welder and our fighter love to eat lots and lots of hydrogen. So giving them all this ice is gonna do some, uh, some good for them, especially since we're planning on using the welder quite a bit the rest of this episode. Uh, so let's put that in there. And we should now have ice. If I look in my, if I look for ice, let's see where it's all, not, I, not icon, what? Ice. Uh, okay, it looks like we have some on the ships and then we have a bunch that got into the O2H2 generator here. So these guys should now be charging up. If I hop in here, uh, 55, are you going up? No, maybe not. Oh, 56, okay, so it is going up. What about the fighter over here, the uh, the decaffeinator? 18, okay, so it was at five earlier. So yeah, we're gonna have to let those guys kind of do their thing. Um, how many O2H2 generators do I have, by the way? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Let's pop over here, I guess, and see. We do only have one, so it would actually do us quite a bit of good to get a second one built up. Maybe let's go ahead and do that, uh, since that's gonna speed up the process quite a bit. Uh, we'll also feed you a little bit of ice from maybe this guy. We'll give you 4K. And that should speed that up quite a bit, giving us a little bit more hydrogen. How are you looking? Yeah, so you're not filling at all, which is fine because it's filling the um, the other ships first. We are going to run out of space for oxygen, but I think that's fine. As long as we have enough oxygen to power the base, I think that's going to be good. Or not power, but like, you know, fuel the base. Okay, so this room, what do we want to do for this room? We have a, oh my gosh, I actually went lower than I thought I would. Maybe I'll build a stairs down to this level because this actually seems kind of cool. I was not planning on having it look like this, but you know, opportunity presents itself. Might as well take it, right? Thinking something like this would actually be a really nice looking power room. You know, this little area could also double as like a little bit of a server room in case we have a bunch of scripts that we don't know where to put. 
we could always put them inside this room for safekeeping. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, okay, what are you? Oh, these are our half blocks. Okay, so some of these... Actually, I think it'll still be fine if we put them... If we just do like this. Uh, yeah, right there. Put one right there. Here. There. And there. Okay. Now, I would like a place to... Uh, do I have any connections that are easy to get to? I guess I have these. Okay, I'm gonna build that there just temporarily so I can get rid of uh, enough blocks to... Uh, to remove that. Oh, that has removed stuff from... Oh, my button! No! Sorry, button. I didn't realize you were under that. Okay, it'll be fine. I just need to replace it with one of these. There we go. Now that is replaced. I should be able to add just a vent here. Thing is facing that way. Let's remove all the stuff from here and see if I can rebuild that. Okay, so all I need is a computer for that. Here we go. Here's going to be our computer. And then I'm going to do something that I like to do as well, uh, which I've done in a bunch of rooms. And that's going to be adding a container right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, actually, I can probably close this room, too. Let the rest of the base repressurize, because all I have to do is work in this area right here, where we have our little vent. Okay, so I need to somehow weld up all of this stuff, and there's no way I'm getting the welder in here, so I'm gonna have to do it by hand, but it shouldn't be that hard. Six, seven, because I do have this connector right here. So I can grab a bunch of stuff, weld up a little bit of it, and just keep doing it like this. Although I wish I had the level three welder, but I think we're gonna have to go to space in order to get some platinum for that. Unless we eventually find it at one of the bases, which is entirely possible. Okay, there's all the original stuff right there. So we now have our little wall as well as uh, this thing. We still need to weld up all this stuff and then probably get like a stairs in somewhere. I'll put maybe one, one on each side or one in the middle. I haven't decided yet. But let's start with the walls. I think they'll be the easiest. Five, six, and we'll keep going like this. You guys don't need to watch this. You guys have seen me weld a thousand things already. All right, last couple blocks right here, and this room should be pressurized after this. Let's see. Pressurize? No. Okay, what's blocking it? Maybe this one right here we need to get? Let's try and get that. Uh, the problem is I've got a lot of these things right here that I don't know where they're, uh, where they're going to. But yeah, okay, it looks like it's pressurized now, um, which is good. Okay, now we need to get a stairs. I think maybe... How do we want to do this? I'll get one right there, one right there, and one right here, just because that makes things a little bit easier. Uh, this one's right here, the one that I think would be nice. And then these two right here are the ones that I think I'm going to use more often, probably because they're very easy to just get in and then use. Uh, and then, after I get those three, I'm going to start getting some batteries. We'll start with four, but we have a lot more room where we can put more. So, uh, we'll go battery. We'll go warfare battery, because it looks cool. One, two, I don't know why I jumped. Three, four... There we go. Let's get these built up. One, two, three, four. This is going to take a couple trips, but it's going to be good once we have them. Okay, the only thing I'm missing right here is uh, is actually the power cells, so I'm going to have to wait for those to build. Production. Oh yeah, it's still building a bunch of this stuff, so let me throw the power cells first. What am I missing for that? Okay, I can't actually build the power cells right now because I'm missing either silicon or nickel. Probably nickel, because we've always been missing nickel. Um, so... That right there will stand unbuilt, I guess. We'll have to come back here and build the rest of the stuff. But we have a new room to the base, which I, th I think looks actually pretty cool. It's a new addition to our uh, to our tunnel. And I said we work on the tunnel every episode. This counts. This counts as working on the tunnel. Okay, let's hop outside because we got to start on the other stuff, which is the Pam building and the uh, and the the Coffini outpost setup stuff. Okay, so for our journey today, we're going to start by going to the PAM base because I want to get those refineries uh, built up that we set up last episode uh, and also maybe some modules. Let me actually check on the modules real quick to see what they require because I know the yield module requires, yeah, superconductors is the, <laughs> is the big one. Um, but I think we might be able to make superconductors actually. Speed modules don't require very much, just computers and stuff like that. Let me remove those from my build planner. Um, can I build superconductors? Let me actually check. How many per yield module? 20 per yield module, which means ideally, I mean, we probably want to get, so people have been saying in the comments that three yield modules, one speed module is probably a good setup. And I think that's probably good as well. The speed module is going to double speed uh, of the refinery and also double the uh, power requirements, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. Um, so I think we'll go one speed and three yield. If we're going three yields, we're going to want one, two, three. We're going to want nine times this, so 180 semiconductor or superconductors. How much is 180 superconductors going to require? 
Let's bump that all the way up to 180. How much gold is that going to require? That's going to require 120 gold ingots. So how much gold do we have on base? Uh, gold, AU, AU. We only have 20. So we're going to need to get more gold if we want to get that set up. But, I mean, with the amount of gold we have, we should at least be able to set up a fifth of this. A sixth of this, rather. Which means probably one yield module would, would be doable. Yeah, it's just gold and iron. So let's see how many of these we can get built. Because if, if I can get a bunch of those built, then I can at least set up one yield module on maybe the main refinery that we have. And then I, I was thinking at the PAM base, I want to get the refineries set up uh, so that they are... Um, like, I've got one refinery sp specifically for certain things, and then the other refinery, like, one specifically for iron or something like that. So, okay, so for the pan base, then, all we're going to need is if I go to the refinery, we're going to grab uh, two of these, put those on our build planner. I'm going to grab uh, the yield module. We're only going to bring over one yield module's worth. I'm going to try to bring over uh, three speed modules worth. One, two, three. I think that's all we're going to need for the major components. And then I'll bring over some stuff for some conveyors and stuff like that, even though we have an assembler on that base, so we should be able to build stuff. But let's go ahead and move this. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it. I'm going to bring it down here and we're going to set it to, uh, I guess I'll just turn all the thrusters off for now. Let it chill there for a second. And I'm doing that so that I can put things in it without it getting routed back up out to other stuff. So let's start grabbing stuff from our build planner and we'll see what we're missing at the end. Okay, we are indeed missing a bunch of stuff. A bunch of steel plates, a bunch of... Yeah, mostly steel plates, actually, it looks like. In fact, we were able to get everything for the speed modules and yield modules, except for... Oh, all we're missing is steel plates. Oh, well, hang on now. That's not that bad. We can actually build steel plates at the other facility. So maybe it would be a better idea to, uh, to bring all this stuff and then build that stuff at the other facility. So you know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to remove this stuff from my planner here. And I'm going to throw a bunch of uh, a bunch of this stuff on there. We're going to stop by here again after we do the uh, the PAM based stuff uh, in order to get stuff for the Coffini outpost. So let's go ahead and start leaving here. We'll open this and whoops, I think I depressurized. Yep, the entire base. My bad. <laughs> it's going to be fine. And all right, the door is open. Oh, wow. The view from here when the door is open is very nice. We, we see a nice view of the giant Earth back there. Uh, a view of Mars. Let's hop inside here and get going. So I'm going to turn my thrusters on to uh, number three, which is our basic mode. And you can see I'm actually flying just fine using our gear number one. So I'm going to save ourselves a lot of hydrogen just by using this this uh, lesser gear. So let's head out. Okay, looks like that is our military installation over there that we're heading toward. Uh, some people also said I should turn off my forward-facing thrusters, which I really should figure out how to do that. But I think the gears is going to help out a lot, having the uh, the weaker gear. Um, that'll give us fewer thrusters and stuff. In fact, I could probably make the weaker gear even weaker, having only one forward thruster active and one backward thruster. Uh, and then maybe... Well, I think having four bottom thrusters is fine. All right, here we are at the PAM base. And before we do anything, I want to hop out here and, and uh, tell this to build us a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of steel plates. So let's hop over here real quick and say, who can I who can I talk to here? Who's the manager? You, sir. I'd like you to make me a bunch of steel plates, please. Like 5,000 should be fine. How much iron do you have on base? Um, 82,000 in the assembler. Okay, you don't have a crazy amount of iron on base, but in fact, I think these PAM things have been kind of stopped for a long time, so I'm gonna have to figure out what's up with them. It's possible they finished their missions, but let's head into this thing and start by getting our yield module on the main one set up here. I believe it's this one right here. Actually, verify. Oh, that's a speed module. Let's get the, the one under it, which is the yield module, built up. There, oh, we're actually able to get both modules set up. So this should speed things up quite a bit. Then let's uh, maybe try to get one of these refineries built up, or both of them, if we can. There we go. And we're probably able to get everything except for the uh, the steel plates, if I had to guess. Let's see. Yep, we're missing the steel plates on this guy. That's fine. Okay, um, for this, I'm going to need some, some interior plates, if I can find. I'd like to get a connector set up right there for that. I'll just do this one by hand, because it's probably easier for me to get there than to get the ship in there. And there we go. Okay, so now all the ship is, or all, all we're missing here is going to be a couple steel plates. I'll, I'll fly around the, uh, the backside here to get these built up as best as I can as well. Can't probably get a little bit of that set up. I think that's going to be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and land this guy maybe inside the compound where everything else is. We don't really have a landing pad for it, but that's fine. 
And it looks like on that little welding mission, we only used about less than 40 of our hydrogen. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So there's all of our thrusters turned off. Uh, how much power do you have, by the way? Yeah, you have enough power for three days just sitting there. It's pretty good. Uh, all of our thrusters didn't... Oh, because it turned thrusters off on, so they didn't actually turn off. Okay, that's fine. I'll just keep the thrusters on low mode. Or actually, I'll, I'll press Y. Nope, that's not what I want to do. I'll press Z so that the dampeners are off. Okay. So anyway, you're now working on silicon, and you're producing quite a bit of silicon, but how come that's not going into our Trafaso Maniac here? I bet you the Trafaso Maniac is full. No, it's not. It's just not getting anything. And how come is that? This sorter right here should be pulling ingots, but you know what? It's possible that I severed that connection when I did this. So for now, here's what I'll do. I'll remove that, and I'll add a three-way one. Let's see if that actually helps this start pulling stuff. Yep, okay, it looks like it's back to pulling stuff. Uh, I had severed the connection earlier, so it had stopped being able to do anything. But it's now pulling stuff, and it should be able to go soon. In fact, any second now, it should start flying off. Let's see, it's bringing back a lot of silicon. That's that's a crazy amount of silicon. Yep, there it goes. All right, Trafaso Maniac, good job. You're doing, you're doing good work. Okay, anyway, I want to check on the Pam stuff, because why are they not going? What's, what's going on here, Pam? Yeah, this guy's empty, so I'm thinking he finished his mission, and probably he did too. So you know what? If they finish their mission, it's time to set them up again. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. I'll hop in my little setup seat over here, which is almost being blocked by this guy. Uh, and we'll do that. You guys have seen this a million times. So I'll go ahead and start with the, uh, the trailblazer. This is the one that doesn't have a light, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell him to do his thing in sort of this area right here and see if he is able to do it. Let's go ahead and start this one. If I can, yep, there we go. And hopefully he doesn't crash into a wall. Okay, no, he should be fine. All right, good luck, Trailblazer. You're going to get a lot of ice, but it's okay. Let's get the other one started. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and start that right there. And we'll let you do your thing. All right, good luck, Pam Machia. You're going to do good things here. I'm going to mine this just in case, because he seemed to bump on that a second ago. But okay, you're going to do the ice, and uh, you should get into the silicon a little bit later, and you should get into this magnesium as well, eventually, because the entire area goes that way. All right, all the PAM stuff should be back on track. Let's head back to the base. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to build some actually better PAM stuff, because I have learned that it's better to do the, the downward-facing mining rather than side mining like we're doing now. So we will eventually make Mark II versions of these ships, or better better uh, options, and we'll name those after supporters as well. But, um, but for now... This is what we have. How are you looking now, by the way? Okay, you are getting a lot of this stuff. I'm going to put iron in there as priority. In fact, let me check because we might actually have the stuff now for this. Let me right click that one, see if I have all the... Uh, yeah, actually, we do have the, the rest of the steel plates that we needed for that. So there we go. That's another refinery set up. Not with a yield module, but, you know, one that can actually start working on stuff. And there we go. That's a third industrial refinery set up. Now, this one doesn't have the speed or the yield module, just like the one next to it, but... Having three refineries set up is going to be really good. So this one right here, I'm going to prioritize silicon. This one right here doesn't have anything. What about this one right here? I'm, I think I'm going to keep prioritizing iron for this one. So the Trafaso Maniac should actually be sent off pretty quickly. Oh gosh, okay, here's the Pam Machia as well, dropping a bunch of ice. Do you have any non-ice stuff on you, I wonder? Oops, I just yoinked some ice. Yeah, you do actually have some magnesium and some silicon in there, so that's good. Okay, anyway, with the pan base set up operational again, let's check what we have still in this guy, and let's head on over to the uh, to the other base. Yes, yeah, so we have a bunch of interior plates. Uh, I think I want to take a couple of steel plates with me as well, if I have them, which I do. Let's go ahead and take some of those. There we go, and with that, let's go and head on over. So I'm going to press Z to turn back on my dampeners. We've still got uh, gear number one, but I'll press number three again just to make sure. And let's head off over to the Coffini Outpost, which is over here. So the Coffini Outpost has been sitting kind of uh, ignored for a little bit, and it's time to actually get it welded up and looking nice. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to weld it all up with the stuff we have on us, but we're planning on making one more trip back to base in order to grab some more materials if needed. So let's get over there and, uh, and get looking at it. And we'll grab some nickel as well on the way back, because we definitely need some of that. All right, Coffini, you're looking good, but you're looking a little unwelded. So we're going to have to do some welding for you. Uh, I can try to weld up what I can from here, like directly. Let's see. What can I get from here? I can maybe get some of these guys. Yeah, okay. So we're able to get some of these side pieces set up. But we're very quickly going to run out of interior plates, I think. And I highly doubt we have enough bulletproof glass on us to do this. But 
You know what? We can give it our best our best shot here. And I think yeah, that's probably the interior plates. And let's um let's go ahead and land this guy off to the left here. All right, we'll back it up and once it gets the connection, we should this should automatically do everything else. Yep, it's turned all of our stuff to recharge. And everything's looking good. All right, Coffini Outpost, what are we going to do on you today? Let's see, what do I have in my inventory still? I have no interior plates, so I might have to yoink a couple interior plates to build with from you. But other than that, I think we're good to start working. Okay, so I think what the idea is, is this is going to go up like this, uh, like that. We're probably going to have a door right here of some kind. I don't know what kind of door. Uh, maybe like a just an easy door which would be like a, an offset door. That, that's probably the easiest, cheapest door that we can have. We'll have an offset door right there. Um, over here, we're gonna have a couple LCDs with some supporter generated food items, which I think is gonna be a really cool idea. Anyone who's a supporter level two plus is gonna be able to come up with a food item to go on the LCD. And I think that's gonna be neat. Here, I'll even throw the LCDs on right now. Let's grab the LCDs. Just some basic LCDs. We'll go bam, 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 bam. Uh, probably we'll go. We'll start with those top three right there, and I think that should be enough space. So anyone who's a supporter level two plus, uh, comment down below or give me a message in Discord or something like that, and let me know what an interesting food item is that you'd like to be posted on here, and give it a price as well in terms of space credits, like 50 credits or I don't know something like that. Let me know what you think we should put up there, and uh, and I'll put it up there. So uh, that's gonna be cool. For the rest of the place, this is going to be interesting because I can't really go one block out here because I've got the little landing area here. So what I might do is, is I might put a, uh, a set of windows here instead. We'll go with one right there and then we'll go with uh, the, the one by twos here. Okay, there we go. And I think that's going to be pretty nice. And do I do the same thing on this side? Probably not. I'm probably going to expand it out this side a little bit. So here it would probably go out one more. Oops, I'm out of stuff. So I'm going to need to yoink some stuff from another one of these probably. Actually, what I might do here to make things interesting is I might make it a stairwell. So if I take this stairs, this is like the nice looking stairs. I can maybe put it like right behind the uh, the sofa there and then have it go up one more here. Like this kind of, and that would go up to like a secondary level, which I think would be really cool. We'll have um, this continue like that and then come up like this. I'm out of stuff, but I think there were some down here that I could grab. Inventory full. Still inventory full? Really? Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And now we have sort of the, the makings of a secondary level, which I think would look cool. Now, as for the outside, we're probably going to end up going with some actual armor, <laughs> just just like on the corners, maybe uh, for defensive purposes, um, because I don't want this thing getting shot <laughs> to smithereens. Just on these on these corners here, maybe I'll throw some decent armor. All right, I reckon that's pretty good. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to leave with the uh, the welder. We're going to have to come back with enough blocks for all this stuff. So I'm going to write down what we have basically here, and I'm going to grab everything that we need. So in terms of windows, we only have one, two, three, four, and then one big one. So uh, enough windows for those. All right, I need the three LCDs. I need the offset door, the windows, these windows, those stairs and all of the blocks. I think I've got everything written down, so we're gonna go and come back with a full list of all this stuff. Is there anything else I wanna bring here? What would be really cool is if I could set up a weapon or two, so maybe I'll grab enough stuff for a single custom weapon that I could stick back there, just in case this thing gets attacked and we need to defend it uh, somehow. So let's hop in this thing and let's get going back to the other base. Go ahead and unlock. Actually, before we unlock, oops, bump. Let's go ahead and transfer everything into the main, uh, into the base here, so we don't have to carry anything back. There we go, everything is transferred, and now let's start heading back. So number eight to disconnect, and number three to switch to uh, easy mode. There we go. I don't know why I called it easy mode. Oh, that's so cool! From the Coffini base, you can actually see the towers over there. That's really neat. All right, our hydrogen is at 46%. This is good. It's not going down too fast, which is nice. 45%. And there's our base right there. It kind of comes out of nowhere because it's kind of in that valley. But it's nice having the solar towers up there. All right, coming in for landing. Let's go ahead and line ourselves up here. And back in. Hopefully trying not to, to run into the other ship. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go down so we're at the level of the connector. And this should be roughly good. Okay, there we go. Number eight to connect. And we can let this thing recharge. You can see in the bottom right, the hydrogen is refilling quite quickly, which is good. We like to see that. It's only able to refill to 90%, but I think that's fine for now. We, it looks like we need to get more ice. It would be really cool if we could get like an ice transport set up, like the, the Drafasso Maniac. Or maybe I can turn it to ice mode and let it do its ice thing. In fact, you see it 
You see it on the right there, that little thing that's getting closer and closer? It looks like it's coming in for a landing here to bring back some materials. So let's go ahead and disconnect now. I'm gonna go forward a little bit and then I'm gonna turn off our thrusters, number seven. And we're gonna let it sit here for a second. I've got my list of things to give it, so I will do that. I know for a fact that I need two couches like this and three LCDs like that, as well as two stairs. So let's go ahead and get those things loaded up, if we can. All components withdrawn. Perfect. Okay, that's those. Now I'm going to need an offset door and one of each of these types of windows here. Let's get all that stuff. All components. Perfect. Now I need four normal 1x2 windows like that and then a 2x3 window like this. Let's see if I can get all that stuff. That's going to take a couple trips because those uh, bulletproof glass is heavy. Okay, I'm still missing some stuff here. You know, I actually forgot to bring nickel back. I can't believe it. <laughs> I forgot to bring nickel back. All right, when we go, we'll next time we go to the Coffini, we'll definitely bring Nickel back. Okay, all windows successfully gotten. So now is the hard part because now I need to grab roughly 70 to 140 interior plate block things uh, and about 30 armor blocks. So we'll start with the armor ones. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, these are half ones. Okay, I don't know how many I got. You know what? I don't know how many I'm going to get. I'm just going to get a bunch. All right, I was able to get just over half of the stuff required for this before. Uh, before I ran out of um, the ability to get stuff. Everything else is assembling right now, but we'll head back over to the Coffini so we can get some of this stuff uh, done. So this is actually still handling it fine, even on the, the first gear setting. I still have the, the second and third gear setting that I could always go to, but the first one is handling the ship just fine. So maybe I need to lower this. Okay, we're back at the coffee shop and we should be able to weld up a lot of this stuff here. So these windows right here should easily be weldable. Let's go ahead and handle those. We'll just plop right in here and consider them welded. I don't know if we were able to get the ones on the side yet, but here, here. There we go. Okay, the side ones are welded. I'll get these blocks as well while we're here. Those nice and welded. I'll get these top ones. They should be easy enough, as well as the, uh, the steel plate ones out here. And I should be able to get these ones inside as well, because I think I got enough stuff for them. Yep, there they are. And the door. Okay, the door's already done, but I got the rest of the stuff for the door also. Okay, over on this side, I'm able to get both of those windows right there. I should be able to get the stairs as well as the blocks underneath them. Let's see, we'll start with these ones underneath. I want to try and get these guys right here if possible. Yep, I'm able to get almost... Okay, yep, there we go. We're able to get everything. And then maybe this stair up here. We'll also go ahead and get these blocks here as well as the door. Go to third person a little bit so that we can see what we're doing here. And there are those right there. So this is all the perimeter blocks done. I want to see if I can get those LCDs because we did bring enough stuff for them. And the, the sofas as well. But we'll start with the LCD. All right. And there are our lovely LCDs. So uh, like I said before, anyone who is a supporter level two or above, comment down below or uh, message me on Discord or email me. It doesn't matter. Anything you want to do in order to get in contact with me. Let me know what you'd like to be displayed here as like a food item or like a drink or really anything. <laughs> it's a coffee shop, what would they sell? Come up with something, uh, let me know, and we will put it on there, it'll be really cool. And then as for every supporter, no matter what tier, all, all of your names are gonna be on like a plaque somewhere, maybe in the back, uh, maybe on the wall, I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet, but it will go up and it will look cool. Let's get a couple of these welded. I definitely don't have enough to weld up all the blocks on the floor, but I can try my best. Just like that, we, are, we should be out of, uh, yeah, we're out of interior plates. All right, well, we are actually gonna park here and get some nickel this time because last time we forgot. Before we get the nickel though, check it out. Look at what we have so far. This is actually coming along pretty nicely. Come over here, you get this nice little area. You can go inside. You got walls, not really a floor. The floor's still under construction. The ceiling could use a little bit of help, but I mean, it's, it's really coming along, I think. You can sit down here, have a look over there see stuff. Um, can you see? Yeah, you can see the towers off in the distance. You can't really see much of the uh, military installation. Maybe we should build some sort of tower over there so we can see that. Maybe like a radio tower or something would be cool to put over there. Uh, just for the coolness factor. Um, as for here, I don't know what we're going to put on the second story here. Let me know what you guys think we should put up here. Like a maybe some sort of penthouse or something or maybe some hotel rooms. I don't know. Anything like that would be kind of cool, I think, though. Um, over here, I don't... I think maybe what I do for this... I think I'll pad up the sides just a little bit over here uh, and then maybe keep it looking like this. 
Okay, let's get that nickel and let's head back to base so that we can get the rest of the stuff to build up the uh, the fam thing. Or the, the coffini. Okay, I think this is probably enough nickel here. We have 23,000 nickel, which is a pretty good amount. Let's head in here. Let's turn on our Y there and let's head over to the military installation, the PAM base, which is where we're going to drop this stuff off. Okay, we're just temporarily stopping here at the PAM base because I want to drop off some of this nickel inside here. So let's start that process. And I'm going to get the nickel going first. I don't know where my nickel went, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put my nickel in here first so that it gets refined uh, first. Let's keep dropping a little bit of this off. All right, there's all of the nickel. Uh, we have a gremlin light over there hanging out. Uh, I want the nickel to get aboard the Gervasso Maniac here. How much nickel is aboard right now? Yeah, okay, so it is starting to get some nickel and this is filling up. So I'll let that fill up and we should have nickel heading back over to the base pretty soon. All right, let's head back over. We have 46% uh, percent hydrogen, which should be enough. All right, here we are. Our base is looking pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Let's let's uh, head back into this little cargo or this little um, hangar called a cargo. I guess it's technically cargo for ships, right? To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Now up, now up, now up, now up, now land it by yourself. All right, there we go. Press number eight and we are locked. OK, this guy should start getting some stuff. It's we're out of hydrogen on the base. I think real quick, while we're waiting for the Trafaso Maniac to come back with some more uh, stuff, and while we're waiting for this to produce the stuff we need to bring to the uh, to the other base, uh, what we should do is we should start on something cool. So let's go in here and let's start on what people have been saying should be a, uh, a no-brainer for this um, particular planet, which is an ice mining operation. We haven't done this yet, and I don't think we're going to complete it in this episode, but at least starting on it would be kind of cool. So I should be able to open this with no consequence because we have that right there. Uh, so what I think we're going to do next, I don't want to set this up. Basically, what I think we're going to do is we're going to start building some sort of uh, piston mining drill thing. And eventually it'll it'll evolve into like a better kind of actual like plunge mining thing where it kind of has like a rotating arm and it just kind of mines down and kind of digs out a big area. But for now, it's going to be just kind of uh, a, a simple thing. And I think I might want to do it out here. So let's let me put a button up here. OK, there we go. So now we have a button here that should turn that to depressurize on. It's going to suck all of the air up, although it's not going to now because I think the uh, the oxygen tanks are actually full. But we also have a button here that reverses the process and we'll repressurize the room. Since our oxygen tanks are full, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to turn that on and then head out. It's going to lose a little bit of this, but it's going to be fine. So what I think we're going to do, I think maybe right here, we're going to set up our little mining operation and it's going to go straight down. I'm thinking you're a connector of some kind. So if I remove this wall and dig out a little bit of this, where have I ended up? What what green connector do I have? I guess this is the main connector in our airlock room. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put one of these here, uh, not one of those, one of, uh, one of these guys. There we go. I can technically still access that connector, which is nice. But, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piston with a drill on it right here. So I need enough room for the piston and the drill. And eventually this will turn into like a proper thing. Like it'll actually look a little bit better. It'll, it'll be nice for now though. It's just going to be a very simple operation. That's going to give us ice for the time being. All right, there's our drill. So we need to go ahead and right click all these right here. I need to get these built up. OK, there's the piston. There's the top part. And now we need the rest of the uh, of the drill. All right, there we go. There's the rest of the drill. OK, so now we have a drill on a piston and we can go ahead and turn the drill on. And that will automatically start getting us a little bit of uh, of the good stuff. Now I'm going to right click mine around it so this doesn't get stuck anywhere. I don't know if it will, but just just out of abundance of caution here, might as well do this. OK, so it's already getting us ice. And if we look in our uh, O2 H2 generators. Oops, that's OW, O2. It's using a little bit of ice. OK, now all we have to do is tell the pistons to start going down a little bit. And we don't have to tell it to go down too much. I'm going to give it a speed of probably 0 0.01. And we'll see how that handles. It's actually really, really slow. So maybe I'll go something a little faster. Let's go 0.05 and see how that handles. OK, that's actually going a little bit faster, so I think I'm fine with that. Let's see how much ice you're pulling in. Yep, 300, 400. I like it. OK, so we're going to let this thing keep going. It's not going to go. It's not going to give us a crazy amount of ice, but it'll at least give us a, a decent flow of ice for a little bit. 
And then eventually what we can do is we can expand this, make it like a little bit bigger and have it kind of actually drill like a lot of ice from below the base. But I think this is going to be pretty cool. And it's kind of drilling out a little bunker that we can use eventually. And if I look at the O2H2 generators, they are happily consuming ice. They have plenty of it. Okay, so at this point, I imagine a lot of our stuff is uh, is done building. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <laughs> we, uh, so I guess we've done Med Bay, we've done Pam, so I can turn those into X's. We've kind of done defenses, although there's something I want to do to defenses to make it a little better. Uh, for defenses, I'd like to update these uh, turrets right here. I'd like to turn these into uh, custom turrets instead of uh, the Gatling turrets, because I think they'll perform a little bit better. But let's head aboard our ship here. Let's get the last remaining stuff that we need for the um, the uh, the Coffini shop, and we'll get ready to go. We've got a uh, an arrowhead flying over it, but I think it should be fine. So let's go ahead and unlock it. Oh no, we're already unlocked, actually. We need to go into our first gear. Take off. Oh, okay, we need to go into our second gear. That's why, that's why we have them. Oh, no, we don't have our dampeners on, that's why, okay. Uh, whoops, all right. Um, I'm, I'm glad that did not uh, end any worse than it did. All right, let's head over to the coffee shop with what we have, and hopefully this arrowhead won't mess with us. He is kind of close, but I think he knows the coffee shop is ours. And if he destroyed it, then he would not be able to partake in the Coffini when it finally opens up. Hello, Coffini shop. I've come to weld you. We have lots and lots of, of stuff to weld. I don't know. Can we actually... Yeah, actually, it looks like we can go straight on like this and weld. That's going to help us out a little bit. So let's do that. Let's go like this and see if we can weld all these. There we go. That's all those. I can maybe even go in for some of these guys. Maybe a little bit of this. Yep, pretty good. These ones are a little trickier to get into, but oh, never mind. Not for the barista. The barista can pretty much weld anything that needs to be welded. Barista has 10 years work experience. Any coffee you require, the barista's got you handled. All right, barista, can you handle these blocks over here? I think you probably can, but I have to ask. Let's see. Yes, no problem. No problem at all. Just a couple more blocks here and we should have the entire interior welded. There we go, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna fly up a little bit because I think we got all those done. I'm gonna fly up just a tad, hang out here for a second. Uh, shouldn't use too much um, hydrogen just sitting there. And then I wanna weld up, I wanna get like this next floor put in, which uh, I don't have any interior plates on me, so I should probably grab a couple of those. And this basically is gonna be more of the same, I think. So we're gonna go like this. Don't know if we're going to be able to weld up all these, but we'll try. Yeah, maybe another stairs facing this way right here. So you kind of come up and then come around. And then this will be like the center hallway for the, uh, for, for whatever. Okay. I think that'll look cool. Let's, uh, can we weld these stairs by chance? Hey, we can. Not even a problem. Let's make sure we don't run into this big, uh, this, this big, um, tower there. And let's do a, a line of welding. Now, I really don't think we have enough for all this stuff, but we do have quite a bit. Are we actually going to be able to get all this welded up? I'm going to be amazed in half a second. I think we are. Come on. Yes. Okay. Somehow we were able to get all of that welded up, which is amazing and impressive and all of the coolness. Uh, let's go ahead and land here for a second. I want to turn off the dampeners and I want to head out real quick to see what we have down here in the coffee shop. Look at this. Oh, this is looking nice. This is looking good. Uh, maybe I move one of the tables. I don't know if that's obstructing the path a little bit, but I think this is looking good. We have a nice window out there where you can see. Wow, it's amazing how different the view here is from the view of the main base. The main base can see the entire Earth planet over there, whereas this area must be in like a little bit of a valley because it's got no view of the entire Earth planet. Maybe when we have like a little penthouse or something. Let me, let me think. Because if we have the normal rooms right here and we have another room up here-ish, and then another... Yeah, so the higher we go, the more we'll be able to see. So, stands to reason a penthouse would have a nice view of all that stuff. But I'm thinking this is, this is actually pretty good. We've done a lot to the Coffini outpost here, and I think it's going to look even cooler once we have the creativity of you guys' uh, food item names in here, and, uh, and that sort of thing. But anyway, with that done, I'm confident in heading back to the base, satisfied with what we have accomplished here. Let's head into this ship and, uh, and get going. I'm gonna turn back on our dampeners before I forget, and let's head on back to home. I'll tell you what though, I, I do need lights on the base because this is downright scary. I guess there are a couple lights over there, but 
It is so scary going at night and not seeing anything. If I turn off my lights, you really, it's, it's just pitch black. You really can't see anything. It's kind of cool though. Uh, one suggestion that I got was that I should put blinking red lights on the, uh, on the towers over there. And I think that would look pretty cool. Um, the reason we can't see the lights very well right now is because the, uh, they're, they're facing the other way because the sun went down that way. So they're facing that direction. But yeah, I think putting blinking red lights on that would be pretty neat. And there is going to be our any second now, any second now, come on. There we go, connection. It, it always looks a little bit, it always looks like I'm closer than I actually am um, on this thing. But anyway, uh, how, let me see how the ice thing is doing before we end this episode, because it's been going on for a little bit and we've got quite a bit done. Let's, uh, let's close this thing. I still haven't put in the script that will manage this room. Since it's a little complex, it's got the two, uh, the two hangers. Uh, or the two airlocks, rather. But, um, we'll get that in eventually, and then once we do, we'll be able to do a little bit more with this. Let's let this pressurize. Okay, heading back down. Let's head out this way. Close that. We will set this to depressurize. And I think it's not gonna do anything because we don't have any room for the oxygen. And let's check this out. So this is full. This is done. And it's mined all the way down here. Uh, which means we'll probably need to either move this to the left or we need to, to make this a little bit bigger. We're not gonna do that this episode. We'll do that in the future when we need more ice. But for now, I want to see how well we're doing on ice. Let's look at our O2, H2 generators. They're full. Let's look at just in general, just ice. Uh, and we have another 59k. So that, that one thing right there, that little plunge mining thing, has managed to obtain probably like, uh, probably 100k ice just by going down. It's pretty good. I think that's probably solved our ice problems a little bit. And anytime we need more ice, we could just very simply move it to the side and make it go down again. But anyway, that is where we're gonna end this episode. So let's go ahead and close this stuff. Make sure the base is pressurized again. Everything is looking good. And uh, and we'll get this stuff built next episode. I, I don't think we have the stuff this episode, do we? Let me try. Wait, hang on, we might actually. Can we actually finish one more thing in this episode? Wow, I think we actually will be able to. The Trefaso Maniac must have made one deposit trip over here and gone back in the time that I was working on the uh, the Coffini stuff because it has appeared to have brought a couple of these power cells. The only thing is that I need to put the rest of them in production and we'll let them get built up. But we did, we were able to get one more battery, which is good. One more battery is always nice. But anyway, if you guys liked that episode, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, especially for what we should do in the next episode and for what we should do to the Coffini outpost, uh, you know, on those upper floors and stuff like that. I'll head into the into the, uh, the hangar to, to do the outro since we have such a nice view here. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. If you would like to uh, join the channel as a member, there's a link to that, or there's like a button next to the subscribe button for that. If you'd like to join the Discord or the Patreon, there are links to that in the description. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode of Space Engineers Survival.